It's a beautiful spring morning in the mountains of Appalachia. I'm hoping that I can get some things done outside today. I was really looking forward to this weekend. Matt has an extra day off because of Easter that we would really get some work in and maybe fill all the rest of our beds and just do all kinds of stuff around the around the garden. This is time of the year. Your garden chores just seem like they're endless. There's so many things that needs to be done. But it looks like we're going to have rain again, which is really, I shouldn't be surprised. We've had such a, such a rainy winter, a rainy couple of years, actually. Anyway, so it looks like we won't get to work outside much this weekend, if any at all. And if we do, we'll be it won't be a nice day like it is today. It'll be wet and soupy again. So I'm going to see what I can get done today. There's a few things I want to start in the greenhouse that people have sent me seeds that I want to try. They'll be kind of behind the ones we've already started as far as tomatoes and peppers and things like that go, but I'm still going to plant a few today, just one or two, not many. Then there's all those plants from our wonderful trip to Satterfield's um, Briar Patch Nursery. And I've got to do something with them. I know I can't get them all planted today, but I think I'm going to plant a few of them. I'm also still really wanting to do my irises that me and Matt moved so many. Now it's been over a month ago, maybe going on two months ago, um, when we were having the work done. That's the actual day that we did it. So I want to come back. I've still got them in my bucket back there and chop them up and then put them like in the faces of these kind of the dirt that was disturbed, the irises. So I think I'm going to work on that today. One other thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and plant some nasturtium seeds. And I just liked, last year I did this and it worked so well and they were so beautiful. I enjoyed them all the way from when they started growing all the way to the first really hard frost of fall. I want to plant them just in the edge of all my little beds. I love how they kind of creep out and flow and um, they're just beautiful. They're edible too, but they're beautiful, beautiful plant. One of my, my favorite flowers. So there's a lot of things I hope to get done today. I've always got to think about, just like most people, I think about the future of the day, thinking about, I'm already thinking about supper, even though it's early this morning. And this is a day that every week Corey and Austin eat with us, and this is the day that they usually do. So I've got to think about that. I know I'm going to be tired out by the time that gets here. So I've already got some beans going inside, and I think I'm, I've laid out some... Um, little pork chops I'm going to have with that and then maybe I'll make cornbread and then I'll think of something else to go with the with the rest of that before that time gets here. My first chore was moving some stuff around in the greenhouse so that I could bring my peppers out here from inside. You can see they just they're doing really great. Look wonderful. So I wanted to show you our tomatoes. This last few days of really warm weather has just been doing, I mean, it's just made them pop. They're just doing great. You can see there's one or two here that did not come up. They may still come up, but they may not. But the others are doing great. Even the that one where we spilled half the dirt out, Katie did. Corey's flowers that she planted, they're doing good too. You can see that one's just now come up. Some of them are much larger. Those are bachelor buttons. But everything in the greenhouse is doing good. There's another cabbage. I've planted probably all the cabbage that I will plant. I was gonna share these with Corey, so she's just not took them home yet. If she doesn't take them all, we'll probably just put some, I don't know, maybe in the edge of a bed or something and not really worry about covering them and just see how what happens. Now the seeds I'm going to start today, just a few, I'm going to start some of these super sweet hybrid. Uh, Jim Howard sent me those, so I'm going to start about four of them. And then this, someone sent me this pack of seeds and I don't really know who it was. Unless, I mean, I don't think it was the actual Ohio uh, heirloom seeds. If it was, thank, thanks to them. If it was you, thanks to you. So I'm really excited about trying these. And I believe this variety is like the old time cayenne peppers that people remember, you know, maybe their grandparents or whoever, someone in their family years ago grew, more of an old fashioned type. So I'm really excited about them and I'm gonna start two of them. It's got a little hot outside, so I've come down under the shade of the porch to do my next little task. I was able, some stuff we had in the greenhouse, I'd been saving some newspapers and, and uh, pasteboard boxes, cardboard boxes. So I took those and put them in some of those beds that Matt and I have not filled yet and threw some, just whatever I could get there nearby, some sticks and stuff in on top of them just to hold them in place. 
so I got that done that's when I got hot <laughs> and then I went inside and had some dinner and now my next chore is I'm gonna these are the irises that Matt and I dug up out of one of my bed one of my flower beds I'd never divided them over the years they've been growing pretty much the entire time we've lived here so we dug some of them up uh, and that day we did he said well what if we you know do I need to be careful and not get them all I said get everything you can see and I'll still have irises here and I was right they're still they're growing back in the same place because I knew we couldn't get them all anyway so my thought is that I'm gonna this one's probably a pretty good I could leave it just like that size but some of the bigger clumps I'm gonna divide them into little um, and I've got some clippers that may may help me do uh, a better job but to try to kind of get them to where they're individual like that and then I'm just going to plug them into those banks in front of the bed, the new beds. And I hope they'll take root and they'll kind of grow there. It's really an amazing thing when I think about, um, I love thinking about things like this. I'm, I'm a very sentimental person and I love the, the history of my family. I love anything that connects the generations together. So I love thinking about whoever gave these to Granny first. Now, it might not have been somebody in our family, but it was definitely someone... Um, one of her friends, someone in this area, you know, it wasn't someone far, far away, maybe somebody in the community. It could have been her, her mother, Gazzy, or one of her sisters or something like that. But then she gave them to me all these years that have been growing, and now I'm going to divide them, spread them out. It's like all that goodwill, that first goodwill of someone sharing them with Granny has just been multiplied, and here I am about to multiply it again. Granny moved them around in her yard. She had them in different places. I've got them in different places up here where, um, over the years, where Granny had given me this little piece and that little piece. And the iris, is, it has a purple bloom. You've probably, I'm sure you've seen them. I'll try to put a picture in here if I can find a picture that I've taken of one of, of these in the past. But I really like that sentimental uh, nature of it, of flowers, of anything, though, because like I said, I'm a sentimental person. I'm going to work on kind of chopping them up down here in the shade and then I'll have to go back out into the sunshine though to actually plant them. It took me about 20 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, to separate some of them, and I've got a whole big giant grow bag full. I've still got a, a container full that I need to go through, too. Along the way, I was able to, I had some hostas that I pulled out. I'm not sure if I'll put those up there on the bank, but I might, but I separated them, uh, the ones I could tell what they were anyway for now. I didn't have to use my little knife or my clippers. I was able just to kind of tease and pull, pull the, the little irises apart, so... I know this will go, I don't know how far it'll go down the bank, but it'll go a long ways. So I'm excited about that. I think I'm gonna stop where I'm at right now and just take this one bag and start putting them in the bank and see how that goes. See if there's something I'm not thinking of. I think I can just kind of stick them in, just kind of like you're kind of plugging in down through there and not worry about it. And either they'll live or they won't, but irises are really hardy and tough. So I think they should, at least some of them should make it, maybe enough to actually get some started once they, if a few of them live, then they're gonna flourish just like these that I planted so many years ago. That was a chore. It's not that it was that hard, it wasn't that hard at all, it's that it's got hot. It's up to 80 degrees today, so no wonder I'm sweating. I was thinking a popsicle would, would taste really good right now. Mm. Hits the spot. Hopefully the sweetness will give me some more energy too to push through and finish before I've got to go, go in and cook supper. I wish Matt was here though. He's my popsicle partner, so I wish he was here. He could be eating it with me. Wherever he's at at work today, he's probably wishing he was here too. He'd probably rather be here eating a popsicle with me than doing whatever kind of chore he's doing. Probably He's probably hot too, probably doing it outside today.
Feels really good though to get the irises on that one bed. And now that I've done it, I kind of know I can. I think I can go a little thicker on the next bed. Maybe pl plant two plugs together. I think they'll go further because I still have this great big uh, tote down here full of irises, and I didn't use all the ones that I had already, you know, divided out. So that's good to know. I'll have more than enough to do every bed. It'll just take me a while to get that part done. Talking about my popsicles, a lot of people ask me about the brand. It, they are Outshine popsicles. It's more of a healthier variety of popsicles, and they're really good. I don't think there's been one flavor that we didn't like. I don't care as much like for lime, but I'm not a lime person. Matt even likes those, uh, um, though. Probably our favorites, his favorite's probably grape. My favorite's probably the coconut one or the peach. This peach is really good. Peach might be my favorite, even over the coconut. A little breeze really feels nice. I usually don't sit here under the porch, but me and Corey did a video a few days ago under here because we were looking now that the sun's come back out and it's sunshiny, the sun's beginning to come over uh, the mountain where it doesn't so much during the winter. I have to think about sunshine when I video because if it shines in my face, it's you can't see me, it just is too bright. So we were hunting for a place to do our recent little update and I said, how about under the porch? Let's go down there and look. There'll be, you know, it'll be shady there for sure. As summer goes on, there'll be more places because the trees will all leaf out. There's not many leaves now, so all the sunshine's just coming, coming straight through. But this is a nice place to sit. Never sat here very much, but it's nice. You can see all the, all the beautiful green. It's almost green up time every year when I'm watching the world come back, the, the forest come back, the woods, and I notice like right now I can see some yellows and some orangey pinks and some greens and of course the pine trees, the pine trees, the evergreens, they're always there. But then one day, usually I'll be inside sitting on the couch or something where I sit, everybody has their own seat, probably like that at your house, where I sit I can look straight ahead out the window over to the ridge right there, kind of the same view but higher up, and I'll look out and think, oh my goodness, all the trees are leafed out. It's either I'll be sitting there or I'll be driving somewhere and be, you know, five or ten minutes away from home and all of a sudden be like, the world's green again. And then as summer progresses, when I'm driving around like that, I all of a sudden I feel like the um, all the mountains, they're clothed back and they're green and they're hugged up close to the sides of the road. It's a nice feeling. I also like to see it all disappear though by the time winter gets here, when cold weather gets here. I, I love living in a place that has all the different seasons. Really distinct seasons, I love that. And I love them all equally. Matt doesn't. He don't like the, the hot weather that's about to about to be here. He, he'll come home today complaining about how hot it was. And it's really not as hot as it will be, but... It is warm. One other thing I didn't uh, video, but in between all this, Corey and I got all of her plants out. I couldn't remember what she bought and what I bought from Satterfields. So she's got them all out of the greenhouse so that tonight she can she can take them home when Austin comes over to eat supper with us with his truck when before they head home. It'll be a good time for her to take them because he can just put them in the back of the truck. So we did manage to get that. Makes me feel a little bit better about the greenhouse. Just it, I love the greenhouse, but when it just gets full this time of the year and you've got to water pretty much every day, you begin wishing you could just get rid of some of it. And I hope to, right before I quit, I'm going to try to do at least two more things. I want to get some of those impatience that I bought at uh, Satterfields and bring them down here under the porch where the porch kind of overhangs, is good and shady, where all my hostas are, or a lot of my hostas. 
and I'm gonna plant some of them down here. And then I wanna go around, last year I did this for the first time and it worked so well that I hope it works well again this year. I love nasturtiums, so I just planted them really early. I went ahead and just put them down in the corners of all of our uh, beds, our vegetables, where we're gonna grow our vegetables. I put some in the flower beds too and then just forgot about them. And it took them a while, but then once true warm weather got here, they sprouted and, and did so good. My nasturtiums were prettier last year than they've ever been. So I'm gonna do that uh, today before I quit for sure, even if I have to come back out after supper and do it and just kind of poke a little seed in a few places in the back and up here and around my new steps around there too. Now, I saved a lot of nasturtium seeds from last year, so I'll use some of them. And then um, the variety that I have is like Jewel, the Jewel mix. I think I have the just regular and the dwarf. So I'm not sure what I grew last year or what my seeds will be, but it's kind of the orangey red um, color, oranges and reds. Some of them last year were orange with really pretty red markings on them. So hopefully some of my seeds will stay true to that. I hope so. Even though I've got so much done, I am disappointed about the uh, rain coming this weekend. I just knew me and Matt were going to get so much done since he had the extra day off from work. But like Matt says, you can't fight the weather. That's what he tells me, Tipper. You can't fight the weather. And he's right. I can't. Well, now that my popsicle has revived me a little bit, I'm going to get me some water. I'm going to get me some water. I'm going to go up and get those plants and plant the impatience first. Is exciting today I noticed our potatoes are starting to come up so there's a potato here's some in this one pretty much all of them have are barely poking through like that or about that size so that's great to know that they're finally coming up there's two more over here. yeah two more in that one and I noticed this apple tree is very young we've only had it like two years but I noticed it's it's trying to bloom too it's gonna be really pretty. Apple blooms or apple blossoms are so pretty. And they smell good too. This is the horseradish that I got from Satterfields. And a lot of people told me that it's invasive. I already knew that, but I do love it. But just in case for now to see if it grows too, I'm gonna just put it in a grow pot and then I can always take it out later. Looks like it's, there's, I don't know if that's, yeah, that's one growing way down there. That's funny. Get it out, kind of open up its roots. I might, I don't know if I should put that one on top or just leave it where it's at. Maybe I'll leave it. Maybe get some of these little weeds out of it though and clean it up and get some of the leaves out. That's where the leads or weeds have fallen on the top there. And I'm just gonna put some stuff in there around it. Probably should have got a bigger grow pot than this, but maybe this will maybe this will be good for now. And I'm gonna have to look about where to put it, but for now I'm just gonna put it right outside the greenhouse. Last year I had some calendula right outside the greenhouse doors, and I just really enjoyed that all summer long. I don't know. I've got room this year to put even more because me and Corey moved my uh, green stalks. Yeah, green stalks. Thanks, Corey. <laughs> so I've got more. I have to get some water for that when I water the ones I planted up front. And planting the impatience, I might have been impatient to plant them because it will definitely have cold weather again but there's only three of them. So, and they are protected kind of, that stuff stays kind of protected because of the overhang of the porch. But if it's gonna be a bitter cold night, I can just run out there and turn up two or three uh, buckets over them and they'll be, they'll make it okay, I think. Cause it's not gonna, um, typically, unless something unusual happens, it's not gonna be, you no know, several, like the recently in March, we had those pretty much two weeks of really cold temperatures. We're likely not to have that but it will definitely frost again before uh, warm weather's here. 
So we're gonna have some corn from last year, cornbread, of course, some little pork pieces of tenderloin, some soup beans. We've got bread and butter pickles, hot peppers or hot tomato pickles from Papa, and stewed potatoes, soupy potatoes, we call them. We ate supper and then I, we come back out. Matt had to try to work on my car, something that's wrong with it. And I planted a few more rows of spring vegetables. I got some onions planted. And then I had some seeds that Margaret Evans sent me. Thank you, Margaret. And I planted some beetroot beets that are Boldor is the name of them. Never tried those before. Some mixed radishes, never tried those before and some radish watermelon. I've never tried those before. So I got all those planted. It'll be interesting to try those new varieties if they if they do good for us. I'm tired. You tired? Yeah. Matt's had a hard day at work and hard couple of weeks at work. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> and I've worked all day. How what'd you think about supper though? Was it good? Absolutely. Yeah. Very good. It's Very not good. not good to eat that much though and then come out and try to hoe. No. <laughs> but I got it done and it wasn't that much uh, just the four four rows so it wasn't that bad a little short rows too so at least it feels good to get all that done I hadn't even Matt got home and was doing other stuff and I was cooking I hadn't even got to tell him what I did I um, planted the first these right here the first irises all over that bank I tore all the irises apart and put mm -hmm. them in there. Cool. Yeah. Planted some of the flowers from uh, that Corey and I got at the nursery. Got all Corey's stuff gathered up so her and Austin can take it home. And I uh, filled in some of the beds. I mean, with um, just with some old newspaper and sticks that I picked up to hold the newspaper down. So we're that. And I did fill this one the rest of the way with dirt, the one that we had compost and stuff what kind of dirt um it was some i had that it was in some grow bags that we used last year and i wanted to get get it out of the grow <clears> bags and i thought well that's a good place to put it just take it and take it and put it up there i'll stay going a little longer maybe you'll get them out <laughs> i don't think so i think i gotta have your help it's hard work ain't it? it is hard work <laughs> yeah feels good though feels good to be out and about and doing it did get hot today though I think it's supposed to cool down over the weekend. Cool down, it's gonna rain all weekend. Yeah, that's the sad rain. Or we would. Are you, are you glad it's gonna rain? Yeah, it don't matter, you'll find me something <laughs> to do. Uh, we got a lot to do. God, yeah. We got a lot to do. A whole lot to do and it needs to already be done. Yeah. The weather just won't cooperate. It rains every weekend. And then you're at work during the week. Yeah, work gets in the way a lot of stuff. I know, yeah, I know everybody feels like that, yeah. Peaceful this evening though. Yeah. Hear all the birds. Yep. See all the little leaves. With the blooms on that. I know, I noticed it today, the apple tree blooms. Yeah, they'll probably get bit. Maybe not. Maybe not. That one's beginning to bloom too, see it? Mm -hmm. Maybe they won't. And we'll definitely have some more frost, but maybe no bitter cold. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think it'll be no, not any, <laughs> any more really bad cold weather. It'll just be some cold mornings. Yeah. Well, you know what we'll be saying? I'll be glad winter gets here. Oh, yeah, we will. We're never satisfied. Mm -hmm. Never satisfied. Always looking forward and wanting something else. 
I try to remind myself to really think about the moment and be in the moment, but it's hard for me at least, but I think for me, for a lot of humans, it's hard. You're always looking at the next, the next thing. It's hard for me to do it and wiping sweat out of my eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. I don't like hot weather. Yeah, I already, uh, earlier today, I had a popsicle without you and talked about how you didn't like hot weather. Oh, really? Yeah. You had a popsicle without me? Well, you use, film? It, use it work. What was Enough that supposed to be? <laughs> oh, gosh. I can't uh, believe you did that. Oh. Uh, That's almost like cheating on me. Oh, boy. Almost. No. Yeah. Can we go get you a popsicle right now? No, I can't hold one. I <laughs> ate too many beans. Yeah, those were good, wasn't they? Gosh, yeah. Could good. you tell that I mixed? I had some pinto beans, and then I found some beans that uh, I think I grew, but I can't remember what kind they are. But I had shelled out just white ones, and I mixed those in. They were good, wasn't they? Gosh, yeah. They were really, were really good. good. There's enough for leftovers tomorrow. That's even better. So get to have them two days in a row or three maybe but at least two yeah be good. good good eating corn was good that was last year's corn from farmer tim yep <coughs> hard like, to beat beans and cornbread yeah i like to eat that way it's good stuff I sit here long, I'll go to sleep, so we better we better go in. Unless I'm going to sleep outside tonight. You sit there a little while. <laughs> I know. You're tired, too. I'm real tired. Yeah. Tired. Hard working in the garden this time of the year, getting ready, and apparently uh, where Matt works is <laughs> deciding to make a lot of hard jobs, which is, that's just normal, though. Y'all are always busy. Yeah, they are, but... It was probably the hottest day so far this year, and we were roofing. Oh, yeah, that's how it goes, ain't it? And you know we can do it, but I need I need to I need yeah. a few days to ease into this hot weather before I start doing something like yeah, that. Yeah, for it the first 80 degree day, and you're on the roof. Gosh, yeah. And then by the time we wasn't on the roof, we did another job on the asphalt. Oh yeah. Against a metal building, and yeah. it was hot. Well, I did say when I was having my popsicle that I was really hot, but I bet that you were somewhere working where it was hot, too. See, if I'd known, I could have brought you a popsicle. It'd been a long drive. <laughs> I think it would have melted before you got there. Well, I could have put it in ice, packed it in ice or yeah. something, you know. I, popsicle delivery. You'd have to bring three or four. Yeah, for the whole crew, bring everybody yeah. one. They might not look like um, suntan lotion popsicles. They probably wouldn't. Yeah. I had a peach. It was really good. I said grape was your favorite. Is that right? I like it awful well. Yeah. I think peach is my favorite. I do like the coconut ones, though. I like the grape ones. Yeah. And you liked, I think we had strawberry. And lime. You liked lime. I don't remember that one. I have to get you some more, then. You ate them all. Well, it was last summer. You've done forgot. Yeah, I can't remember one year or the next. That's just asking a little too much. Yeah, I know. We appreciate you spending time with us as we prepare the garden. Today was me preparing the garden. Matt wishes it was me all the time, do you? Yeah, my arm hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Matt's had a... He doesn't really wish it. I was just <coughs> teasing him. He's teasing me. But Matt had a had some hard work last week that got his what do you call that tendonitis or something aggravated in his elbow he used to get it a lot when he was constantly hammering when he was framing houses and stuff but you hadn't had it in a long time no this is this is fluid on my in my yeah. joint or something i can't can't yeah. i don't have a full range of motion it hurts bad but he was doing a lot of hammering last week and a lot of lifting and moving lifting and moving got it aggravated somehow yeah. Don't bounce back that quick no more. Yeah. yeah, you will. It'll get better. I hope. Yeah, it will. Well, as always, we're glad you stopped by, and we hope you stop back by often and help us celebrate Appalachia. Good enough. Yeah. Good enough for me. You think I should have said something else?
probably. I should have said something like, my husband is great. I worship the ground he walks on. Oh. Still got time. <laughs> my husband is great. Is that like, do I sound like a robot when I do no. it though? My husband is great. <laughs> and then they know that I, you trained me to say yeah. it. You yeah. hypnotized me. Hemorized you. Hemorized me to say it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm too tired to think. This is a great old big pine tree right there. Never really noticed it. Yeah, it needs to be gone. Wow. I don't like pine trees. We've got a plenty of them, a gracious plenty. I like them all right now in the woods, but I don't like them around my house. Yeah. Before you know it, that one will be humongous. I mean, it's already, it already is. How tall is that? That's, uh, probably 45, 50 feet anyway. Yeah. You know, we talk about pine trees all the time. Are we obsessed? Pine trees and, uh, Pine needles and pine rosin and rich pine and lighter pine. Oh, if there was no pine trees, you wouldn't have rich pine. That's true. Yeah. That's the, really the only, that and the tea is the only good part of them in my mind. Yeah. Of course, I'm sure there's other people that'll disagree with that. But. They're pretty, I mean, in the, in the winter, especially when they're, you know, they're the only one of the only things still green here, but they grow so fast and just get in your way. Yeah. And then they uh, drop their seeds everywhere, and, and you got pine trees everywhere. Mm -hmm. All right, we're ready to go in. I guess. May have to carry me. Go in and see our other daughter before she leaves. Yeah, I've seen her all day. But and her psychotic dog. Yeah, I've seen it all day too. They need to come out here and get their stuff. She's probably forgot that we piled it all up for her to take home. They're all lit in that wagon. Yeah, that, and then she's got two trays in there. In the greenhouse. That she needs to get. Oh. Is it going to rain tonight? I think so. Maybe it'll, I didn't water those irises that I planted. <coughs> I figure they're tough enough, they'll just have to wait on the rain. I think it's supposed to rain tonight and then <coughs> quit in the morning and then rain Friday, Saturday, and part of Sunday. That'd be great. Yeah, I love it. I was hoping we could work all day Friday and all day Saturday. Well, I know you are. I was hoping, I'm hoping that, I'm hoping there's at least five or six inches of water in the yard. Well, there will be. I'm sure. <laughs> be a darn mess. I know, but if we don't, we can't do the. I can't put my herb bed back here till that stuff's moved, and we can't mm -hmm. move that stuff till we can fill all the beds. Yeah, we can string up some lights and do it overnight. <coughs> if you want to. I'm too tired at night to do it. I can take a day off of work. No, I'll just have to wait for a good day, or do it a little bit at a time, maybe a bucket at a time. Mm -mm. I'm tired. Me too. Let's go in. Let's go in.